So then, what's the plan? East Coast plan? No. Today I have a dual key plan. Cynthia, what's dual key? Okay, a dual key unit is actually one unit but you actually get two different keys. So you can have the flexibility of actually using one for your own stay and the other for rent. So maybe you can earn a rental income from this unit. I have an extra dual key now. Shall we take a look? Mm, let's go and take let's a go. look. This is the foyer for the dual key. Okay, so I'll go back to my unit now and I'll see you later. Okay, follow me. This is the plan. This will be the one vader for the dual key. The kitchen will be nicely tucked in one corner. We have ample storage space. Comes with the cooker hob and the hood. And of course, not forgetting about the microwave. And this will be the washer and dryer, which is well concealed. When we proceed to the bedroom side, we have a space for a good study area. But you can actually can put a good study table, because of a chair, and of course the wardrobe. And here, we have enough space for this queen size bed and not forgetting about this unblockable wheel and of course this comes with an attached bathroom and let us proceed to the two bader so my neighbor then has already showed you the one bedroom unit so for this dual key uh, apartment and this is the two bedroom unit you can see over here the full layout of the whole place it's very spacious and you have an enclosed kitchen and two bedrooms to boot. Follow me to the first bedroom. So for this first bedroom over here, you can see it's actually linked to the balcony that is actually together with the living room and it offers you quite a nice view of the scenery. So let's go up to the balcony. So over here is the balcony. As you can see, it's actually very, very spacious. You can put your dining tables and chairs over here and you can have a party for your family and friends, uh, like a barbecue party as well. Let's go back inside. So over here we are back into the living room and you can actually uh, you know configure a dining area as well as a living area. You have this space here to actually play with. Your TV can be here, your sofa or maybe over here and your dining area can be somewhere here. Follow me into the bedroom. So over here, we are looking at the master bedroom. You have your very, very efficient squarish layout. You can actually put your double bed, uh, queen size beds here, and your uh, side tables as well. And then we have a Jack and Jill washroom. So over here is the Jack and Jill uh, common toilet as well as the master bedroom toilet. So this actually saves a lot of space because your guests can also use this washroom but does not need to go through to the master bedroom as there's the door over here. So let's go to the last area of the house which is the enclosed kitchen. So the good thing about this is that this door actually protects the smells from cooking that will come out. So you can actually cook without your house smelling like your food. Hey, hey there! What are you doing here? Cynthia, shall we go to the gym? Okay, I will grab my bag. Sure. Many people have PM me to ask me how to avoid ABSD. Mm. Dual key will be one of the solutions. Mm, I agree with you then, because actually you're getting one unit but two different living spaces. So it's actually a very good idea. Mm. Would you like to know more? I'm Cynthia. I'm Dan. And, and we'll, we'll see, see you soon. soon.